So in this video, we are going to have a look at the titration of strong acid and weak base. So let's say if you have 25 ml of 0.1 molar ammonia is titrated with 0.2 molar hydrochloric acid. So since we have the volume and also the concentration of ammonia, so ammonia will become our analyte. So the titrant now is hydrochloric acid. To calculate the initial pH of the solution, so remember the initial pH, we didn't add any titrant yet into the conical flask. So uh, in this case, our analyte is ammonia. So the dissociation of ammonia in water will produce NH4 plus and OH minus ion. So since ammonia is a weak base, so this, the dissociation is only partially. All right. So in this case, you have to find the concentration of OH minus, which is the value of X. Okay, so we have our KB expression. And then substitute the uh, information from the reaction table, right? So the KB expression, the uh, value of X is 1.333 times 10 to the power of minus 3 molar. So which is, this is our concentration of OH minus. So calculate the pOH and then we will get our pH is equal to 14 minus pOH. Right, for P, so let's say if you add 5 ml of hydrochloric acid solution, okay, so now there is a reaction between base and acid. We call it as neutralization reaction. So it will form NH4Cl as our salt. Okay, so from here, we can see that the volume, the final volume now become 30 ml because we already add the acid and base together. So as previous video, so we cannot use the concentration in our reaction table. We use the number of mole. So calculate the initial number of mole for our base and acid and then find the limiting reactant since HCl will finish out first. So HCl is our limiting reactant. So now our solution consists of base, weak base and also salt. So remember, weak base and salt that produce the same conjugate acid, we call it, we call it as basic buffer solution, right? So we have a basic buffer solution, right? So we cannot use uh, uh, same method like before to cut the pH, okay? So we have to use the henderson hasselberg equation where the NH4 plus is our conjugate acid. The concentration is equal to our salt. Okay, since our salt here is fully dissociate, right? So we have the pOH and then find the pH. So this is our pH for our buffer solution, basic buffer solution. And then at equivalence, so remember at equivalence, there is no acid and base present. So we have our salt, we do our uh, dissociation of our salt and then uh, determine which ion will hydrolyze in water. So in this case, since NH4 plus ion is come from a weak base, so it will hydrolyze in water to form H3O plus. So the presence of H3O plus make the solution acidic. So the pH and equivalence will become less than 7. Right? And then just want to show you the volume of the titrant added at equivalence point. So use MAVA is equal to MBVB. Right? So this is the volume of Titrant, which is our HCl added at equivalence. Next, let's have a look at what happened if we add 20 ml of HCl. So now you can see that the uh, number of moles of our base here is smaller than our acid. So our base here will become the limiting reactant. So now there is no weak base present. There is only strong acid and salt. So this is not a buffer solution. So the pH of solution depends on our strong acid. So from the dissociation of our strong acid. So since this is a strong acid, so it is uh, fully dissociated into H plus NCl minus ion. Right. So the pH is 1.48. Next, the final pH, the final pH is for titrant only. So since our titrant is HCl, just like this reaction table, so we know that the 
HCl will fully dissociate into H plus ion. So the concentration of our HCl is 0 0.2. So the pH final is 7 uh, is 0 0.7. So to plot the titration curve, remember the pH here is the pH of the solution in the conical flask. The volume here is uh, the volume that uh, the volume of our titrum, which is in the burette. Okay, so since in the conical flask we have our base, so our titration curve will start up here. Okay, because the pH of the base is bigger than 7, right? So, and then we add a little by little HCl. So, before the before it reached the equivalence point, okay, so we have uh, HCl as our limited reactant. So, the solution present here is only weak base and also salt. So this is what we call a buffer region, the basic buffer region. Okay. And then at equivalence, okay, so since our salt uh, is an acidic salt, the pH at equivalence is less than 7. Alright. And then pH final, we already calculated the pH of the titrant. So remember it won't touch the 0 0.7. It won't reach 0 0.7 because our solution is diluted. Okay, so the pH jump, okay, for uh, our uh, weak base and strong acid titration is around 3 to 7. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching.